Kibby King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean AOSP ROM on your Sprint Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Um, it is an Alpha 5 at the point of this video, which is August 28th is when I'm making this video. Um, I'm sure we'll, it's going to be updated in the future, but this how-to video should uh, hold true. I'll make an updated one if it does not, but to install this ROM, this video should work for all updated builds as well. So first of all, you do need to make sure you are on a safe recovery, whether you want to install a gingerbread kernel with Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 baked in, or if you are on a get recovery on ice cream sandwich, you should be good to go. I do have a get recovery right now. Otherwise, though, once you have a safe recovery or plan to install a safe recovery, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description of the video is going to take you to this website right here. First of all, huge shout out and thanks to S. Brisson. My man S. Brisson putting this together for us. Be sure to thank him. Uh, he's put a lot of work into this. You will see AOSP Jelly Bean 4.1.1. It is AOSP, which means it is built from source. Um, so obviously CM10 built from source. Anyways, let's go ahead and get these downloads going. So you'll scroll down, you wanna download the latest file if this is updated um, or not. Right now, Alpha 5 is the latest. So go ahead and click on this link, download it. It will be a zip file downloaded uh, right to your phone, uh, right to your PC, sorry. So make sure that you get this zip file. You also wanna go back to the video, uh, this video and click on the other link in the description. You're gonna to need to download a second zip file called the Google Apps add-on. It will take you to this site. Just click the download button right here and download this second file as well. So you'll have two files, the ROM zip and the G Apps add-on, the Google Apps add-on, which will give you apps such as the Play Store and other ones. But make sure you transfer both of those zip files over to your phone, whether it be internal or external storage, it does not matter. So transfer both of those zip files on over to your device. And once you have both the ROM and G apps on your phone, you're ready to go. We need to get into our uh, custom recovery clockwork mod. So you can go ahead and power off your phone. Otherwise, if you are planning to install a kernel via mobile Odin, you can go ahead and do that now as well. Or if you're running a ROM with a safe recovery, you can hit reboot recovery in that ROM. Otherwise though, once your phone is fully powered off to boot into recovery, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time until the Samsung screen lights up and let go once it does. So go ahead and let go once this screen pops up. And then it should take you into your custom recovery. Again, I have AGAT recovery right here. So now to install this ROM, we are ready. gonna go ahead and first of all, make an Android backup. So go to backup and restore and make an Android backup. Keep in mind, if you wanna restore that Android backup, you need to install the same uh, recovery that you had when you made the an Android backup. Once you have that an Android backup made, you're gonna need to go to wipe data factory reset and hit yes, delete all user data. It's gonna go ahead and format everything, your apps, contacts, etc. So make sure you do have everything backed up, whether it's via titanium backup or anything else. But once the data wipe's complete, go down to wipe cache partition and hit yes, wipe cache. Go ahead and let the cache wipe and then go to the advanced menu and hit wipe Dalvik cache. It's up at the top, so go ahead and select wipe Dalvik cache and then hit yes, wipe Dalvik cache. And once that is done, we are actually ready to go. So go ahead and hit go back, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card or internal SD card, wherever you put those zip files. And then go ahead and find the ROM zip itself. Uh, it's the one I downloaded, it's called full D710 alpha 5.zip. Select the ROM zip and hit yes, install. So it's gonna go ahead and run through and install the ROM itself. It'll take a little bit of time, so make sure you are patient with it, but let it install. I will be back once mine is done. All right, and once the ROM is done, you will see install from SD card complete. We are gonna now need to install the Google Apps add-on. So go ahead and hit go back to choose it from SD card or internal SD card. Select it and then find uh, that Google Apps add-on. It should be called G Apps JB and then sign zip. Go ahead and select that Google Apps add-on and then hit yes, install. Again, this is gonna install applications such as the Play Store, Google Talk, all those good uh, Google applications. So go ahead and let that install. It won't take as long as the ROM itself, but it will take a little bit of time, so be patient with that install as well. All right, and as you can see, install from SD card complete. The Google Apps add-on is done, so we are ready to go. So once the ROM and Google Apps add-on have both been installed, go ahead and hit go back and then reboot menu, and then reboot system. So go ahead and reboot your Epic 4G Touch, and once it boots up, you will be good to go. You'll be running the Alpha 5 Cyanogen Mod 10 AOSP ROM 
on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch. Go ahead and let you check out the boot animation, you'll see. Very cool boot animation. Obviously the jelly, stock jelly bean boot animation there. But that's it. So you have to let me know what you think. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well. I'll be doing a separate review video going over bugs and other things, so be sure to watch that as well. I will link to that in the description. But as always, thanks for watching, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up.